Good morning. Trying to get all adjusted here. We'll wait just a minute, as usual. Let everybody have a chance to join us, those who are going to be able to. Let's see if I can get my computer. Join us. Turn me off. <clears throat> Good morning. I hope y'all are having a great Monday so far. It's been busy already, and um, I don't understand why Monday mornings have to start off so crazy busy, um, but they do, and um, sometimes it's nice to just jump in. All right, let me see if I can get my comments synced up here so I can keep up with y'all. Um, and my phone is, okay, there we go. All right, let's get started since start is my word for the day. Um, yesterday, while I was at church, my pastor's sermon kept, I was listening to it from, you know, a spiritual level, but I kept thinking about y'all. And I kept thinking, oh my goodness, this just applies so much to the journey that we're all taking. So I was feverishly taking notes during the sermon so that I could share it with you. Um, and so that's what I want to do. Yesterday's sermon at church was about um, doing a new thing. And, you know, we're starting off the first of the year. Many of us have um, resolutions, um, plans to start, um, you know, a, a workout routine or a financial program or whatever it is. And for most of us, it's about losing weight or maintaining our weight or getting our eating under control. And so here are the five um suggestions that I want to share with you that correlate to the word start. So, uh, using the first letter S, number one is stop making excuses. We can find all kinds of reasons to justify why we aren't doing what we're supposed to do or why we aren't eating the way we're supposed to eat or um why we um, are gaining weight or why the program isn't working for us. But my encouragement to you is number one, stop making excuses. If there's a legitimate medical reason, that's different. And that's not what I'm talking about. And you know that. But if it's just an excuse, I don't have enough time. You have the same 24 hours in your day that I have in mine and everyone else has in theirs. Um, I don't know how to do it. Okay, well, we have 68,000 people who are willing to help. Um, I don't like the food that's on the zero point list. Then don't eat those foods. Um, I don't like yogurt. Nobody said you had to eat yogurt. Um, I'm allergic to fish. Great, don't eat fish. Stop making excuses. I know that sounds harsh, but when we get that one in our spirit and move past it, then you know we can go on to step number two. Number two is with the letter T, and it's take inventory. Look at what you're doing. Um, write down, if you need to, the things that are working and the things that are not working. Um, what am I learning? Um, journal, track, keep an inventory, um, not just mentally because we can't rely on that, but what have I learned that's worked for me and what have I learned that hasn't worked for me? And the things that are working, this sounds so simple, but keep doing those. And the things that aren't working, stop doing it. And the things that are making it um, where you don't want to stay on your journey, get those off of the table. Um, going back to the yogurt, I I've seen, I don't even know how many posts from people this week that say, I hate yogurt. And, and, it's making me miserable and it's gross. Nobody said you had to eat yogurt. So stop putting that into the equation and making yourself miserable. Um, 
if you're going to overeat on the, the two ingredient bagels, don't make them. Don't have them in your house. What are you learning? Um, what are your assets? What are your strengths? If your strengths are um, journaling, then by all means journal. If your strengths are meal planning, by all means plan your meals. Um, if your strengths are um, building off of the zero point list as your foundation, then do that. But build on your strengths. Um, surround yourself by successful people. Don't take advice from people who are not doing Weight Watchers on how you should be doing Weight Watchers. That just doesn't make sense. Listen to the advice given you here and in your meetings by people who have proven that they have figured out how to do the Weight Watchers plan and make it work. Those are the best people to learn from. Um, going to the letter A, act in faith. Obviously, for my pastor's sermon, this was on a spiritual level, but applying it here, if if you have confidence that the Weight Watchers plan works, then act in faith based on that plan. Do what they're telling you to do to lose weight, trusting that it's going to work for you. It's designed to work. It's proven to work. It's scientifically based. There's no reason that you're so unique that it won't work for you too. So step out in faith, trust the program, do it the way it's written, no more excuses, and move on. Um, going to the letter R, refocus. Some of us, even though we're brand new into the year, we're only on day eight, but some of us in those eight days have gotten a little bit off track. And so I encourage you today to take a few minutes to refocus, recommit to what you need to do, um, write down your, your plan, um, and be ready to put it into action. Um, it's so easy, even on day eight, to, you know, we start seeing commercials of other plans and we've seen um, news reports, news reports that talk about um, other plans and how much more successful they are. Um, I watched one with Megan Kelly the other day, just a minute of it. I didn't watch the whole plan, but you know, they talked about how Weight Watchers is a diet. They've obviously not done Weight Watchers because it is so not a diet. It's a lifestyle. Refocus. Recommit to doing it for life. Um, I was watching the the sisters on YouTube. I watch them every uh, Monday as soon as they update their weekly video. Um, their YouTube page is called The Skinny on Weight Loss. And if you haven't watched it, I encourage you to. It's incredibly motivating. You know what motivates me the most and what inspires me the most is that they have been doing this for years. One just reached lifetime. The other is still um, working the plan and getting very close. But they've been doing this for years and they're still going. They've had many weeks where they've gained. They've had many weeks where they've maintained. Um, but they're still going. And even today's video, um, they talk about having to refocus, go back to the journal, read what inspired them, um, recommit to whatever the goal was that you set. Get your eyes off of the highs and the lows and the peaks and the valleys, but recommit to doing it regardless refocus. And the last letter is T, and that's trust. And that kind of goes hand in hand with the act in faith. Trust Weight Watchers. You've trusted them with your credit card number. You've trusted them with your money. So trust them to give you a plan that's going to work. 
um, stop doubting, stop questioning, stop arguing, stop whining, and just trust the plan. It works. Does it mean you're going to gain? I mean, you're going to lose every week? Absolutely not. Nor will you lose every week on any diet that you um, attempt. But um, you're going to lose. If you do the plan overall, you're going to lose. So my encouragement to you this week is to just start. Um, if you have kind of been struggling, start over. If you've been arguing with yourself about, you know, whether or not it's going to work, start. If you're doing it, but you're not giving it 100%, start. If you're doing it and you're giving it 100%, good for you. Keep going. But just to recap, stop making excuses. Take inventory. Only you know what's in your heart and in your head. Um, act in faith. Refocus and then trust. I encourage you with, I, I can't even stress how much, that just doing these five things will set you up for success. And um, don't let the weeks of or the days that are challenging get you off course. They're just part of the journey. They're going to happen. You have those days in every relationship. My husband and I have been married for going on, it'll be 41 years in July, and I adore him with every fiber of my being, but there are days that it takes a little bit more work than other days, but we're almost reaching our 41st anniversary because we didn't give up on the hard days. Um, quitting is not an option in my marriage, and so... Um, I have to approach this lifestyle with the same resolve. Quitting is not an option. As long as I'm alive, I want to be healthy. So as long as I want to be healthy, this is the best plan for me to keep me on that path. And I encourage you to look at it with that kind of resolve. Freestyle. Let's talk about it. Um, some of you are still struggling, and my heart goes out to you. Um, you're not alone. You're not the only one that isn't seeing the seven, eight, nine pound losses a week. So don't use that as an excuse to quit. Um, those people just happen to be the ones posting, and they're sharing it because they're excited. But there are a lot of people who are struggling, and that's okay. But um, I, if you're one of the ones struggling, I want to maybe offer these little tips. Um, freestyle is a lot of things. It is not license or permission to overeat. If you were portioning your food before, you probably should still be portioning your food now. Um, I've, I said it a couple of weeks ago, and I'm sure all of your leaders are telling you, if three ounces of chicken was enough to satisfy you before, there's no reason to eat six ounces of chicken now just because it's zero points. That just doesn't make sense. Stop eating when you're satisfied. Don't eat six eggs because you can when one or two is sufficient. Um, so it's not permission to overeat. It's also not permis uh, permission or a license to cheat. There's a difference in the sisters in their video today very well talked about the difference between a planned indulgent meal and a cheat meal. Telling yourself that, that um, I've been great on plan all week so Saturday, I'm going to go to IHOP and I'm going to have pancakes. I've earned it, I've saved my points, and I'm going to track it. That's not a cheat meal. A cheat meal is when um, you go out to eat and you've planned what you're going to eat, but you get there and before you know it, you say, to heck with it, I'm going to eat, you know, the double pound hamburger with cheese and the large order of fries and I'm gonna wash it down with a chocolate shake and I'll get back on track tomorrow. And I'm not gonna track it because it didn't really happen. I'm just gonna ignore it. That's cheating. Cheating will, will get you every time. 
you will gain weight and it's not Weight Watchers fault and it's not Freestyle's fault and it's not anybody else's fault. It's just that you cheated. You have to own it and then you refocus and recommit. Um, it's also not a license or permission to mindlessly eat. Um, somebody asked, why is corn zero but popcorn isn't? Well, when's the last time that you sat down and ate a giant bowl of corn? Probably not. But we can go through a giant bucket of popcorn in a New York minute and not even realize it. So you can't mindlessly eat. That becomes a problem. And if it's a problem that you, or a food that you catch yourself mindlessly eating, you might need to eliminate that food from your diet for a while. Um, or at least have very strict portion control when it comes to that food. Um, common sense did not go out the window when freestyle was introduced you still, seriously, you still have to use common sense. If it's a trigger for food for you, don't eat it. If it's one that's going to be a problem for you to have in your house, don't have it in your house. Um, if it's a food that's going to trigger um, an overeating or a binge for you, by all means, don't eat it. If it's a food you don't like, don't eat it. If it's a food that is... Um, uh, not good for you for a number of reasons. You're either allergic to it, it causes you gastrointestinal issues. Just because it's zero points doesn't mean you have to eat it. It's just there as an option. The zero list of hundreds of foods are just options. You don't have to base your diet on just those foods. If you are trying to eat only zero point food and nothing else, you're going to get bored with that quickly. And you're going to feel like you're on a diet and you're going to get discouraged and then you're gonna quit. Don't do that to yourself. The zero point foods are just there as the foundation of our meal. And then build the rest of your plate on a on pointed foods that you enjoy. Um, if you don't like chicken and turkey, don't eat it. Maybe start with a piece of um, lean beef and then add some zero point veggies to it. There's so many options and, and it it's limitless in the, the ways you can create your meals. So saying that this is a restricted way of eating it's just not. I just encourage you to evaluate your thinking. Um, you can be successful on freestyle, but you're the only one who can make you successful. We can give you suggestions. We can give you um, recipes. We can give you food products that we found. But whether or not you're successful is all up to you. And... Um, Freestyle is such a great program that um, it was tried, it was tested, it was evaluated long before it was ever introduced to us. And then it was, uh, the employees were put on Freestyle for months before it was introduced to you. Did they struggle? Some of them did. Some had to figure out ways to redo the way they were planning their meals to make it work. Um, it's not any different than Smart Points or Points Plus. There were weeks on both of those plans that that some of us maintained or that we gained. It wasn't the plan that was the reason it was the way we were approaching the plan that week or maybe it was something going on in our body or maybe it was that I exercised um, more that week than I had or I did some weight training there's all kinds of reasons for a gain but it's not always that the plan isn't working for you so I just encourage you to um, internally look at what you're doing reevaluate, refocus, take inventory, um, maybe change things up. If you're eating the same thing and you're gaining, you need to eat something different. 
if you um, you know or, or have been eating the same thing for a few weeks it's time to change it up anyway if your exercise is the exact same thing day after day after day eventually it's not going to be effective you have to do something different so you'll have to do the same thing from time to time on your eating to get results so I hope that encourages you this week. I hope it gives you something to think about. I'm gonna look over at my computer and see what some of your comments are, and, and we'll talk about a few of those. Uh, Jackie says, why is common sense so uncommon? Boy, you know, Jackie, I don't know, but I agree with you. And it's so easy for us to throw common sense out the window and then blame everything except our lack of common sense. But I know with me, more often than not, the weeks that I wasn't successful on losing weight was because I wasn't applying common sense to what I was doing. Um, zero point food allow you more ways to enhance your cooking. That's the truth. It really does. There's so many options. It's just limitless on the, the meals that you can have. Um, I'll share with you what my meals are this week for lunch and breakfast. And, um, uh, you know, you can use them. You can do your version of it. You, but maybe it'll just give you some some ideas. Uh, my husband likes the the um, the uh, vegetarian sausage. It's not my thing, but he likes it. So this week for for breakfast, his was two of the the uh, vegan sausage patties and scrambled eggs, and mine was two slices of the one point. Uh, bacon and scrambled eggs. So I cooked those up yesterday, put them in the refrigerator and they're ready to go. Lunch this week, I browned uh, turkey breast with taco seasoning. Um, I steamed in the steam bags cauliflower rice. And so in the containers, we put half a cup of cauliflower rice, a half a, half a cup of uh, ground uh, turkey browned ground turkey breast with taco seasoning, a third of a cup of corn, and a third of a cup of uh, black beans, and then I roasted some broccoli. I saw that on YouTube. I can't remember whose it was, but it was such a great idea, I adopted it. And so that's in containers, and that's our lunch for the week. I made some of the banana bread that I posted recently um, and that's gonna be one of my snacks for the day. And then I bought grapes and um, apples and that's the rest of my snacks for the day. So my meals are really low point, but they're very nutritious. They're, um, um, they're very filling. They have lots of fiber. Um, I'm getting my vegetables in. I'm eating fruit. I have plenty of points left over if I find that I'm in a position where I need to eat something, you know, with some points for dinner. I have a Weight Watchers meeting at 4.30 today, so dinner tonight will be Subway. I'm not worried about it because I have the points to use. Um, it's just an idea of a way to plan your day where you have plenty of points left over. Barbara says, we are our own success and failures can blame anything else. That's it, it really, the buck stops here. It really does. I can't blame anybody but me. Um, do I find food fights anymore? I do. And um, I will start adding some of those back in. Um, honestly, since we've been doing Weight Watchers, I really haven't been buying very much um, processed or packaged food. But I, uh, but I will start adding those back in next week, I promise. Um, Marie, or Marnie, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, reviewing my journal for the last week to highlighting things that work and change things that didn't. That's that's all I'm encouraging you to do. Take inventory and refocus and stop making excuses. You'll find um, a lot, a lot will change if you just do that. Do Weight Watchers leaders still give out Bravo stickers? Um, you know, I, I don't know, mine do, and I give them out. Um, I think some leaders do that more than others. Um, if you like Bravo stickers and you're not seeing them, ask your leader about it. Um, Weight Watchers leaders are, you know, we try to be consistent. We're encouraged to be consistent with things across the board, but we all have different personalities. And so, you know, it's going to be different depending on your leader's personality and maybe even your group. Maybe, um, you know, people in your group have said, I don't really care if you give me a Bravo sticker or not. So uh, ask, where is the taco soup recipe located? Okay, that brings me to my last subject for the day, searching. There is a search bar 
on the if you're if you're accessing our page on your computer you're looking at the group page to the left there is a box that says search or there's a little um, magnifying glass at the top that's the search feature all you have to do is type in that box taco soup or two ingredient bagel or um, whatever it is you're searching for you can even type in a person's name 45 day challenge or type in you know like I said somebody's name and hit enter and all the posts that have that in it will come up why do we close posts when you ask for a recipe well more often than not it's a recipe that's been asked for a million times in the week and honestly people just get really 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 tired of seeing it come up again so I encourage you to utilize that search feature and um, if you're having trouble with it um, Nina posted a wonderful post yesterday you can um, look for her name sharing exactly how to use the search box and, and I think you'll get everything you need um, if you just use the search if you post a, a recipe or a meal uh, uh, that you've discovered uh, for instance, if you say, I, you know, post a thread, I just tried the two ingredient uh, bagel and I loved it. I tweaked it a little bit and it was great. Put the recipe in your post because invariably you're going to get 50 comments. Where do I find the recipe? Well, if you just put it in your post to begin with, it's right there for everybody to find so we don't have to go through that again. Um, one last thing and then I'm gonna let you go I'm not gonna keep you any longer um, a lot of people are worried about whether or not they track zero point food um, that goes back to the common sense if tracking keeps you accountable and helps you have a way to go back and look then by all means track freestyle did not tell you not to track zero point food it just said if you don't want to you don't have to but there again, it's totally up to you. If you feel more comfortable tracking your zero point food, track, 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 track. If you are struggling and you feel like you're gonna need to go to your leader and show them your tracker to, to get their help, um, it's more helpful for them to be able to see everything you've been eating. So I would track your zero point food if you're struggling. Um, let's see, what else? Tracking helps us stay accountable. It does for me. Um, it's totally up to you. That's, you know, that's one of those things. But, um, uh, you know, if, if tracking helps you, then by all means track. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, if somebody, if you're asking for something that's already been asked and answered a million times, use the search bar, please, please, please. Please do us all a favor and use the search bar. There are 68 thousand of us now so um, it's just so much it's so much easier if you try searching first if you've tried and you can't find it then by all means ask we're not telling you not to ask but but try searching first um, let's see Laura posted today's the first day of the rest of my life I love it I love it start today um, that's it I, I again always I want to thank you for being such a positive uh, contributor to our group for making everyone feel so welcome um, for sharing with us your highs and your lows and um, for doing this journey together with us together we are better and um, I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart I hope you have a wonderful week and um, I will see you on the board bye